Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, and happy Valentine's Day. Happy Single Awareness Day. Hope everybody is having a great day. I am going to check right now to make sure you can hear me and, oh no, you can see me. Um, okay, we got that, we got that. Okay, we're good. All right, just wanted to check to make sure, but I hope everybody's having a great Monday um, and we are here. Uh, I'm Heather, we come to you live each and every day to Monday through Thursday to talk Luminous, to talk um, what we have, the offer, uh, what you get in your starter kit, all of that but here to answer your questions. So if you do have any questions, please let me know. Please sound them out. Uh, we are here. Good morning, Martin. Good morning, Pam. Good morning, Jeannie. Um, I hope everybody's having a great Valentine's Day, or I like to call it Single Awareness Day. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to do kind of a Valentine's look obviously. Um, now I will tell you tomorrow we are going, uh, because I had somebody in one of our classes ask for this. Um, we're going to talk tomorrow about coverage and about covering wrinkles and crinkles, rosacea. So it is going to focus around coverage, but today I wanted to do a fun look of Valentine's day and, um, maybe you have a night out or a night in um, where you can uh, jazz it up a bit. Um, and there you go. Hey, C thank you, Cindy. Good morning. Good morning, Pam. Um, happy Valentine's Day. So, of course, because it's Valentine's Day, we're going to use love. Um, we got to love our love. Um, I'm going to use the rose. Get, see what I'm doing there? Rose, four in one. Uh, where's my love? Where is the love? Where is the love? Um, and then I feel like I'm about to sneeze. I hope everybody recovered from watching the Super Bowl last night. What'd you guys think of the um halftime show? Anybody? Anybody? I'm gonna use soft rose blush as well. Actually, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of the natural blush in there. Um, and then what else am I gonna do? I'm going to do all a love or rose theme. Thank you, Martin. Martin loves my earrings. Um, the one time I get to wear them. <laughs> I do wear them when I do bridal shows too. Because there's love in the air. Um, let's see. Let's see. What? Let's see. What? New to naughty. Cut one. Um, I don't know. What kind of? Put that out. Oh, maybe. I'll, oh, I was like, I just moved where the camera is. I thought the halftime. Um, oh, no. Your, oh, no. Your room's got stuck in the pressure cooker. Cindy didn't watch it. She watched the puppy bowl. I bet that was so much better. Um, I have to say that the team that I rooted for did not win. But I really didn't have a dog in the fight. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, oh, I have to put it around the other way. Good morning, Zandra. Oh, Zandra was rooting for LA. Uh, we were joking that it's livestock against cats. <laughs> Get it? Livestock against the... Or I guess, I guess it was livestock against tigers. Um, which sounds a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I, I I like both of them. I, would, I just have to pick one to root for. And since my, I did my toenail color in the Ram or in the Bengals, um, colors, I wrote, I rooted for them, <laughs> which, okay. But the halftime show, I have to say was pretty cool. Uh, kind of old school. I liked it. I almost wore Mary J. Blige's outfit, but that's okay. Um, we have the same outfit. Um, but yeah. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. So let's go over real quick. The, um, the starter kit, we always like to show that because we know that we have people at different levels of airbrushing. And so you may be one that just got the system. This is one of our systems. This is the icon. Um, we also have the icon pro and the legend 
Um, I'm going to be using the newer system that we have, and that's the Breeze. And then it does come with makeup. It comes with everything you see here. Now, some of you may have bought it at a time where you get you got more stuff or you had the option to purchase more stuff. Um, and so, um, you know, we do have we do have more, but it does come with the two bottles of foundation, love and blush. And so we're going to show you how to use that. Um, the steps that I want you to take when first starting out are these right here. So make sure, regardless of whatever system you have, good morning, Nancy, how are you? Um, make sure you hold your stylus level, and then you're going to move that stylus around. This is something you can practice with, um, with just the air. And so move that stylus around, keeping it level. You, you don't have to do this. Boop, 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 boop. You don't have to go fast. You, you know, it's just a steady pace, not fast at all. There's overlap, but they're not in, but you're not in one spot twice. Okay. So there is overlap, but you're not in one spot twice. And then, whoops, I just took it. Okay. Then make sure, and you want to hold it four finger width away and then make sure that you pull back lightly on the trigger. I can say that till I'm blue in the face, but listen, <laughs> you are going to pull back super light. Guys, how airbrush makeup goes on is different than traditional makeup. So expect it to act and work differently, okay? So don't you don't want to see it go on. If you see it go on, then you're using it like traditional makeup. Um, yeah, I actually, let me write that down. Um, I will check on that because the buff concealer is awesome. Um, it really is. Let me write it down. Buff concealer and translucent powder. Yeah, the translucent powder is also something I use a lot. Um, because it's really nice when you if you put it on before you airbrush if you're oily or get shiny throughout the day uh putting that powder on before a trans our translucent powder or a translucent powder um is amazing so that's something you might want to do too all right let's go in and use i think i'll use if i can find it uh where is it where is it where's my glow oh it's down here i knew i was like i know i just used that all right so i'm gonna shake up my glow which i need more it sounds like and put just a few drops of the glow in there now i'm gonna use the glow glow is a highlighter and it i call it a true highlighter because there's no shimmer in it and so you can use it under your eyes. I use it under my eyes all the time to um, highlight, but I'm also using it for coverage, okay? So I can use it underneath the eyes, but you know how you put tra um, a traditional concealer on, you make that moon shape and then you blend it out? Well, remember that your airbrush or your breeze or your shots is going to blend for you as you're putting it on. So there should be no blending. And so putting a few drops in there, turning my system on, I'm going to make the movements first. And then as soon as I feel it, I'm moving it down. Now I go down all the way to here. Because remember, I said you're not in one spot twice, but there is overlap. So I'm going to go over this area again with my foundation. But it's okay if, if I go down here with the, the glow, because it's just going to blend it all out. Does that make sense? All right, so now I'll do a little bit of glow right in the middle of my forehead, down my nose, because now I'm going to use it as a highlighter slash pre-coverage because my nose is red because my allergies are back again. And then I'm going to go back and forth. Oh, thank you, Zandra. But see how natural, Zandra's like, you already glow. But see how subtle it is. See how natural um, you there's no demarcation lines. And that's how we should get. Now, notice I made a couple of passes. I did it a couple of times. That's because 
you get your intensity of a color, you get your coverage by passes. You don't want to have it immediately because you want to have um, that first pass that you make. You might question if it even is any, going to do anything, but you will be, if you keep doing it, you'll see it. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> I was trying to do that very gracefully. Did not work out. All right. I'm just kind of, and then my Marriott lines right here, I'm actually going in to highlight those. And you're like, uh, why? Because thank you, Nancy, because, um, wrinkles and crinkles and like, if you have puffiness under your eyes, it's, they show up more because of, um, the shadows because of the dimension. And so if you can go in and highlight them, they'll, they come out. And so it looks more level Does that make, or more even makes sense. All right. So now I'm going to blow. I think I have a little bit of the glow left. Maybe not. Now I'm going in and I'm going to shake up going to my foundation. And then, oh, I did have some in there. So I'm just blowing the rest of that glow out and now putting my foundation in here. And I'm doing shade three uh, with the rose to uh, four and one. Um, let's see. Naomi says, are you supposed to feel it? I feel the air, but not sure there is any product going on. So Naomi, I always tell people, no, you don't want to feel it go on. But if play with it, just like put a couple of drops of your foundation there and just play with it. And when you're practicing, you feel, feel the air, then lightly pull back on the trigger, like how you're supposed to, but don't move the stylus. You hear some wetness. And if you practice with water and do this, this is, that's awesome too, but you'll hear the makeup being released, but you should be spraying so light that you don't feel it, but there is another little set of coolness that comes when the product's being released. Okay. Another thing I suggest is go, um, Oh, Zandra, thank you. I just saw that. Um, Oh, Marilyn, it's okay. Um, go in, put eight drops of your foundation in your stylus. And if you have a foundation color, that's not your shade. You can do it with that, um, and practice but put eight drops in your stylus and make passes around your face. You should be able to make four to five passes with those eight drops. And so that's another way of gauging how you're pulling back on that trigger. Are you pulling back too far? Are you pulling back? Not enough. Cause I've said it so many times and you're like, Oh, Heather said lightly, but just practice that way. You can practice again with the water. All right, so now I'm going to start in one spot. I hear it coming out. And I actually heard it a little bit too much, so I, I let up on my trigger. My nose. And then back on my chin. Under my nose. making my pass and there you go I honestly I put about five drops and I'm spraying some out I didn't even need I don't, I don't feel like I needed I need any more coverage so I got the coverage that I needed pretty quickly um and that's the other thing the Roseborn one ha is a um it's a medium to full coverage and when you say full coverage in airbrush, that does not mean heavy cakey look. You know, it's not that full coverage. It's because if you're airbrushing the right way, you, you're not going to have to make a ton of passes. This has more pigment in it. So it's going to give you more coverage. But even if you're wanting full coverage, it should still never look heavy or cakey. All right. Marilyn, uh, the beginning, we talked about football and the halftime show. And then I just started really. So you didn't miss much. 
All right, I'm going to put, I put two drops, I'm actually kind of going a little overboard, um, but I put two drops of the um, uh, natural blush, and then I just put two drops of the soft rose blush. Put them in here, boop, start this, and now I'm going to blend that together. Hey, Jeannie. Uh, Jeannie says, getting the wrong shade on, getting the wrong shade on Facebook. Mm -mm. I didn't see you on Facebook. And just so you know, guys, I watch the comments. I see comments on Facebook and on YouTube. So if you're like, who's she talking to? I don't see that comment. That's because I'm watching two different things. Um, all right, so now I'm doing my cheeks. Now, I'm going to want more, but now I'm going to go to this side. Good morning, Miss Douglas. Okay. So I'm going to want more, but I'm going to take it in strides, okay? So now I can come back over here. Now the row, I mean the soft rose, um, is going to bloom on you, um, and it it will meaning it once you put it on it does come up a little bit. The natural blush does have a bit of shimmer to it, but it doesn't come up as much. So you just have to be careful um, when you first start out. I always suggest put your blush on first and then put on um, your foundation. That way it blends for you and it's not going to be as strong. Uh, I got silk in my monthly order and I ordered rose for both. So if they gave you silk, hun, and you order, just call customer service. They're going to, you know, they'll fix it. All right. I'm going to finish up with, oh, you know what I wanted to do? Oh, no, I emptied it out. I'll have to go back. I'm going to go in and put love. And I'm going to do love on my eyes, love on my cheeks, and get that love everywhere. So I can do it high cheekbone area, down my nose, Cupid's bow. I'm going to do it on my lids. So I look like an angel. So I have my love glow on and love is something that you're going to love it might not be something you use every day um it might be something um you know like in the summer i love mixing it in with my um with my foundation sometimes i mix it in with my blush there's a lot of different things that you can do with love so try it see how you like it, see where you like it. You can change it up and, and, and use it. it again. It might not be something you use every day, but you will love it. I'm going to use my persuasion eyeliner. And I'm just dragging. I just use the very end and I'm just dragging it whoop, right there. And you can go as, have it as thick or as thin as you want it. I am going to cut it out just a little bit, but see what a difference eyeliner makes. It can really, um, it defines the eyes. Um, it can dress up, it can go from very natural looking to more dynamic, more dramatic. Um, I know I need to get, I still haven't asked her. I need to ask her. And I talked to her on the way here, so go in and do my little wing out. Just real lightly. You know, one thing I noticed doing my wings. I never can get them to look the same. <laughs> like, see how this one looks? It's 
I think I might take that one out a little bit, but it's hard to make them look the same. And then when you try to fix it, it messes up. So now I'm going to fix it. Um, so I try to go with, um, like, that's why I don't like to cut it out too much. Let me go back here and fix that. Where it's just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. But I'm going to even out this side a little bit. I think the ends. And yes, I'm making that face. And you can't talk while you do it because you have to concentrate. Okay, there we go. Woo! All right. Now, because it's the Valentine's Day, I did have a little bit of the Dusty Rose, which, you know, it's amazing. Uh, but I'm going to go on top with the pink. And this is Naughty Hink. And the reason I'm putting it over the Dusty Rose is this is really bright. And so I'm just, I don't want it as bright. I want it kind of muted. And since I already had that on, I knew that it would be good to do that way. Um, oh, Jeannie's like, you make the cat eye look so easy. Whew. Well, thank you. I do need to work on a perfecting it a little bit better so I could get both of them uh, even. I, it's just not something I do a lot. And then covering that, I can, um, I'm going to put a little bit of lip jelly on just a little bit. Just a little. And then, of course, finish it off with my mascara. Mascara makes such a difference. This is one of my staples. <clears throat> this is if I was, you know, <clears throat> stranded on a desert island. Hey, Veronica, happy Valentine's Day. See what a difference mascara makes. So I'm going to finish up on the other eye and I will be ready for my Valentine's Day look. But I hope everybody has a great day. Do something fun. I hope um, you get spoiled today. Um, but have fun today. Have fun tonight. Whether you're going to dinner, staying in, doing nothing, celebrating Single Awareness Day, it's all good. But I hope everybody has a marvelous day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.